Is cloud seeding the cause of heavy rainfall in Dubai? Let's take a moment to unpack this. At its core, cloud seeding is a weather modification technique that's been around for decades. It's a science that involves introducing particles, often silver iodide, into clouds to stimulate the precipitation process. Now, picture this. Dubai, a city known for its blistering heat, is suddenly drenched in an unprecedented downpour. Streets are flooded, schools are closed, and life, as it were, is put on pause. This is no ordinary rain, it's a deluge that the city hasn't seen for 75 years. Could cloud seeding be the culprit behind this extreme weather event? The city has been known to use this technique to increase rainfall, so it's a possibility worth exploring. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this intriguing topic. Cloud seeding is not a magic trick, so how does it work, you might ask? Well, let's dive into the science behind it. Cloud seeding is a weather modification technique that aims to enhance rainfall. This technique works on the principle that clouds are full of water droplets that need a little nudge to become rain. The process begins with the release of particles into the clouds that serve as the catalyst for rainfall. Typically, these particles are composed of a substance known as silver iodide. Now you may be wondering how these particles get into the clouds. This is where technology comes into play. In places like Dubai, drones equipped with electric shocks are used to disperse these particles into the clouds. These drones emit a charge that triggers the silver iodide particles, creating a reaction that encourages the water droplets in the clouds to coalesce and form rain. But why silver iodide, you may ask? Well, the structure of silver iodide is similar to that of ice, which makes it an excellent candidate for promoting the formation of ice crystals in the clouds. When these ice crystals become too heavy, they fall as precipitation, creating rainfall. This innovative technology was developed by experts at the University of Reading in the United Kingdom. Their research and development efforts have been instrumental in advancing the field of weather modification and helping to increase rainfall in regions that are typically dry. However, it's important to note that cloud seeding isn't a surefire way to create rain. The effectiveness of cloud seeding is largely dependent on the existing conditions within the cloud. If the cloud isn't already ripe for rain, adding silver iodide won't necessarily trigger precipitation. So, we've seen how cloud seeding can create rain, but can it also create a storm? Well, that's a topic for another discussion. Stay tuned. Let's rewind to the day Dubai received two years' worth of rain in just 24 hours. Imagine an arid desert city, accustomed to scorching heat and dry weather, suddenly submerged under six inches of water. Torrential rains, the likes of which hadn't been seen in 75 years, swept across Dubai, transforming the bustling metropolis into a vast waterlogged landscape. The deluge was so severe that it caused flash floods, turning streets into rivers and leaving the city in a state of chaos. The impact was felt throughout the city, from the towering skyscrapers of downtown to the outskirts that border the desert. The city's main artery, Dubai International Airport, wasn't spared either. Planes were diverted, flights were delayed, and the usual hum of this global travel hub was replaced by an eerie silence. The airport, which usually sees over 100,000 passengers a day, was brought to a standstill, but the disruption didn't stop there. Schools across the city shut their doors, and employees were urged to work from home. The city, known for its relentless pace, was forced to hit the pause button. Among the chaos, tragedy struck in Ras al Khaimah, where the heavy rains claimed a life, a grim reminder of the destructive power of nature. Yet amidst the turmoil, the UAE government considered the rains a blessing, a respite from the relentless heat that the country is known for. But the question remains, was this extreme weather event a natural occurrence, or was it triggered by human intervention in the form of cloud seeding? A day of chaos and disruption, but was cloud seeding to blame? Cloud seeding is a contentious issue with strong arguments on both sides. The recent heavy rainfall in Dubai has brought this debate to the forefront. Some say that the cloud seeding operations conducted during the storm heightened the rainfall, leading to the city's most torrential rainfall in 75 years. However, others, 
including many experts, counter these claims. They argue that attributing devastating downpours solely to cloud seeding is misguided. While cloud seeding is designed to enhance rainfall by implanting particles into clouds, the effectiveness of this weather modification technique remains inconclusive. Studies have shown varying impacts on rainfall, with some areas experiencing increased precipitation, while others see little to no change. The debate around cloud seeding doesn't stop there. Apart from its uncertain effectiveness, there are other concerns to consider. Some critics worry about the potential environmental and health risks. Introducing foreign substances, like silver iodide into the environment, could have unintended consequences. Others express concern about the possibility of depriving other regions of rain. If cloud seeding works, and one area is inducing more rainfall, where is that water coming from, and what impact could that have on other regions? Another argument against cloud seeding is that it may promote a false sense of security. If we believe we can control the weather, does that distract us from addressing the underlying issues like climate change and inadequate infrastructure? These critics argue that our focus should be on reducing greenhouse gas emissions, rather than relying on weather modification techniques, like cloud seeding. The jury is still out on the role of cloud seeding in extreme weather events. As we move forward, it will be critical to continue the research and debate, balancing the potential benefits of increased rainfall against the possible drawbacks and unintended consequences. While cloud seeding garners attention, there's a bigger player in the game of extreme weather, climate change. Climate change, the long-term alteration in Earth's climate and weather patterns, is a major driver of extreme weather events. It's like the puppeteer behind the scenes, pulling the strings to create more frequent and severe storms, droughts, heat waves, and yes, even floods like those recently experienced in Dubai. The science is clear, the increase in the Earth's average temperature, driven by human activities releasing greenhouse gases, is causing these changes. As the planet continues to warm, the atmosphere can hold more moisture, this leads to heavier rainfall, and consequently, increased flood risk. Let's take a moment to consider the implications of this. These aren't just abstract scientific concepts, they're real-world impacts affecting real people. Families are being displaced, homes destroyed, and lives lost. And it's not just about the here and now. Climate change is a legacy we're leaving for future generations. This is where it becomes critical to focus on reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Energy conservation, switching to renewable energy sources, and improving energy efficiency are all part of the solution. We need to think not just about how we can adapt to the changing climate, but how we can mitigate these changes. Cloud seeding may have its place as an innovative approach to dealing with water scarcity, but it's not a silver bullet. It does not absolve us of the need to address the root cause of the problem. It's like applying a band-aid to a wound that requires stitches. It might stem the bleeding temporarily, but it won't heal the underlying injury. In the grand scheme of things, it's important to remember that the weather events we experience are part of a much larger interconnected global system. And while we may be able to influence local weather patterns to a degree, we cannot escape the broader impacts of a changing climate. Cloud seeding or not, our changing climate is a reality we must all face. So, is cloud seeding the villain in the story of Dubai's extreme rainfall? We've journeyed through the science behind cloud seeding, its potential to enhance rainfall, and its suspected role in Dubai's recent deluge, yet the verdict remains inconclusive. While cloud seeding was indeed in action during the downpour, Attributing the entire event to this single factor would be a leap. We've also looked at the wider context of climate change. The elephant in the room that's often overlooked in the cloud seeding debate. Critics argue that such techniques may distract from the urgent need to address climate change, the root cause of our increasingly unpredictable weather patterns. As we move forward, it's crucial to remember that weather modification techniques like cloud seeding are not silver bullets. They can, at best, be part of a broader strategy to combat the effects of climate change. The answer may not be clear, but one thing is certain, our weather is changing, and we need to be ready.